thinking about sewing one of these. This is a bolero top, long sleeved. The most tricky part about this is getting the measurements right. It's at the very beginning of this video, so the sewing is pretty quick. It's just making sure that you get everything to fit your body. So if you want to know how I did this, then stick around for my tutorial. So this is the awesomeness of my drawing skills. Um, showing just really simply the front and the back of the top. These are the pieces that we're going to be cutting out. Two front pieces that are similar. A back piece that kind of looks like the front piece, but is just one piece and has a straight line like this instead of going up. The sleeves look really weird like this. I'm going to tell you about the measurements and stuff in a second. And also we're going to need some ribbon. Before I take my measurements, I am looking at the measurements from another bolero that I have. This is one that's from H&M. You can use any kind of uh, sweater or t-shirt that really fits you, basically. We just want to make sure that we get the right measurements. So the measurements that we're going to need are shoulder to shoulder, meaning where the puff starts. Add four centimeters to that entire measurement. Then you need to know this measurement right here, which will also determine these measurements. You need to know this measurement right here, which means that you need to know the girth, I guess, of your arm, like where it's the thickest. And we need, um, this doesn't really need a measurement, just add a couple of centimeters here, depending on how low down you want it to go. Also, you'll need your waist, or not waist, like below your boobs or above your boobs, like once again, depending on how you want this to look. For me, I want it to go above the boobs, so I have to take this measurement for myself, just all the way around. All right? So here is a look at the measurements. If you want to keep looking at this closer, then I suggest you pause. So this is my measurements. This is just to show you how I, ca how I calculated everything. My pieces have now been cut. These are the two front pieces, the back piece, and the two sleeve pieces that are lying on top of each other right now. So it's time to start sewing these together. I'm going to start by doing some hemming. To the top pieces, I'm going to hem this long side right here. This neckline piece right here. And I'm going to hem this. But when I'm going to hem this, I'm going to sew the ribbon in at the same time. For the back piece, I am hemming the top. I'm using black ribbon. Now it's a good idea to burn the edges if you're using, set using satin ribbon like this because the edges will open up if you don't. Now it's closed. This is what one of the fronts looks like, uh, pinned. And as you can see, I have pinned the ribbon on there too. So I'm going to sew for hem all across this line on both fronts. Next up, I'm going to hem the bottom of the back piece. It's now time to sew the two pieces together. And I've laid them out with the outsides facing each other. So the way they're going to be sewn together is by the shoulder and by this little side piece right there. Right now it's a good idea to try your top on, which I have done, thankfully, because I need to do some tweaks. If you can see, the measurement for the shoulders right here is way too much for me. I also need to make some corrections in the back because I have way too much fabric on the loose right here. So I'm just going to sew this in a little bit more right here, and then we're going to get started with the sleeves. When it comes to the sleeves, start by hemming the lower line like this. This will be the edge that goes down towards your hand. So hem and sew that on both pieces. Next up, we're going to hem the long side of the sleeves. This might take some fine tuning and you'll need to adjust 
to the way that your arm looks. So put the needles on, then pull the sleeve on, and then change the needles the way you need to in order to make it fit the way you want it to. My two sleeves have now been pinned to fit me. And it took a couple of tries to get them the way I wanted them, so be sure to just try them on a couple of times before you start sewing. But I am now happy with my pinning and I am going to sew the sleeves together. It's now time to sew the sleeves onto the main piece, which means that we have to flip the main piece inside out. And then pull the sleeve, flip the right way, through. so that we get the outsides facing each other. And start by pinning the sewn edges together, like this. And depending on how much fabric you've used, once you get to the top, you should have a bit of f more fabric on the sleeve piece than you do on the main piece. And that's where the puffing will come from. Now I don't have a crazy amount of fabric over so I will only be able to make two puffs. Alright, we are now at the top as, and as you can see I have a little bit more sleeve fabric um, than I do of the main piece. So what I need to do is create two folds in the sleeve piece. Just pinning the folds the same way we pinned all the other pins. And then a second fold. Not big folds you guys. This is not going to be a super puffy one but it's okay. And now that it has been pinned, I'm going to sew all the way around and then do the same thing to the other sleeve. And you're done! Hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to make a bolero top. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!